Hello everyone, Tommy here. Let's begin the quick start guide with the setting up of the stereo camera. You can use a tripod to position your stereo camera. Make sure the stereo camera is tightened properly so its position is fixed. Alright, I've got mine done. Next, let's go ahead and power it up. Simply use any battery pack of your choice and connect it to the stereo camera with the provided micro USB cable. You can also use any other standard cable to power it up. So in this case, I'm able to put my power bank on the base. Now the red LED beneath the stereo camera indicates that it is in standby mode and ready for connection. So once you see that, that means you've got it connected correctly. Let's take a look at my setup. I have the stereo camera positioned based on my height. Note that the camera should be positioned at the user's eye level and with my 3x3 space, I'm now done with the setup. Okay, so next, what you're gonna wanna do is place this mount onto your VR headset. So you're gonna wanna just put it right here and on the mount. Notice that it has this out, which means it should be facing outwards. So. If this is your headset, you're gonna wanna stick this right here. Okay, so I've got it on my headset, right in the middle. And next, when you have the LED marker, just slide it on to attach, and there you have it. The LED marker on your VR headset. So you can see the micro USB port is facing towards the right hand side of the headset like that, towards the right. Alright, so now we want to go and connect the controllers to the mobile phone. So first to turn the controllers on, hold on the O button and long press it for a few seconds until it lights up do the same for the other one go to BT config so this is how you pair your controllers to your, your handphone so press scan squeeze the two buttons and it will vibrate so once you see a blue light that means it's connected and paired so do the same for the green controller press scan Press these two buttons and there you go, it's connected. Alright, so once you've got the, co the controllers um, paired, what you want to do next is activate the XIM service launcher. To do that, you'll need your phone, the OTG cable that connects the phone directly to the LED marker. So let's plug this in and I have the phone right here. So notice that when I plug it in, it would say start Eximer's blob service and just disappear. So that means XIM service is now activated. You can remove it. You only need to do this once at the very beginning of the setup. So once you see that done, you're good to go. Alright, so once we got the XIM service started, let me just um, reconnect the LED marker back to the Gear VR. So in this case, my test application would be VR Ninja. So I'm just going to hit that, activate the app, put it into the headset. Once you put it in the headset, the blue light will, will light up automatically. And once the app launches, the controllers will connect automatically as you can see the blue lights light up. And you're now ready to begin with the VR demo.